Hello and welcome to Learning to Breathe. My name's Vicky and you're joining me today for a weekly check-in. This is the first weekly check-in of January. So get yourself comfy, get yourself a drink and let's get to it. So before I start the check-in, um, I need to finish setting up the monthly planner because during my plan with me I actually forgot a couple of them which was very clever of me so what I need to do is put in my pay dates and put in my little piggy banks for the yearly saving challenge that I'm doing or on the 7th of January so that's just there oh I've done that well yeah that's not coming up that will be there um the 21st of January And then the third pay date I've got is on the 26th of January. And then every two weeks um, I do the saving challenge. So these little piggy banks will just go here. And the other one just goes here. So that's them set up for the rest of the month. So for the weekly check-in, um, I actually only had two expenses this week. Um, I've already pre-written them. Our first expense was on the second, and that was our weekly food shop from Tesco, which cost us £67.88. And that will go just there. So yeah, that's the first expense of this first weekly check-in, but also of January 2022 um, and then our next expense was on the 4th and that was from Asda for £19.51 and that was getting the extra bits we couldn't get from Tesco and that was the only expenses we had for this week so what I'm going to do now is jump ahead to the expense tracker this is the expense tracker in my new budget binder my very oh my very lovely budget binder so my first expense was the second of the first 22 and it was in Tesco which was a grocery expense and it came to 67.88 and then my second expense was the fourth of the first 22 and that was Asda again that was groceries and that was £19.51. and pence. Obviously that was the first time that I've used this and yeah, really had no issues with that whatsoever. Laid out really well, very happy. So I've now moved on to the weekly check-in. Um, I've already set it up for this week um, and the only category that we've used is groceries. Um, this week we have spent... £87.39 pence. Um, so that's a remaining of £2.61 pence. So that is the weekly check-in completed. What I'm going to do now is go back to the monthly layout and put down any no spends for the week. So I'm back to the monthly layout. Um, I'm going to be using these no spend labels that I got from Saving Sass. Um, I don't think she has her Etsy shop open at the moment, but she's on Instagram. Um, and I have one no spend there, one no spend on the third, another no spend on the fifth, and another no spend on the 6th. Um, I've also got another no spend on the 7th. So all together that's one, two, three, four, five no spends this week, which is brilliant for the first week of January. Um, something else I've just realised I haven't done, because you know I'm, I'm doing so well this week, is I haven't put down um, my goal for this month. Obviously in the plan with me, I've put in here that I want 12 no spend days. So I'm going to just put it under here, 
what my goal is. Uh, actually, I might just put it, where do I want it? Oh, I'll just put it there. Right. So, I want 12 no spend days, and currently, I've already got five. So, that is a very good start of the month. So that's the end of the video. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like and comment. Um, if you haven't already, I really hope you subscribe. And I'll see you again in the next video. Bye, guys.